Welcome back to Ask the Doctor, where you ask us your questions about peripheral neuropathy, and we do our very best to get them answered. Our question today it comes from John. So let's have a look here. Uh, so he asks, people with EDS, which stands for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, have problems absorbing nutrients, which results in many deficiencies. We can, what can we do to help with our ligaments and our ability to absorb vitamins like B vitamins, vitamin D, C, and magnesium? Any advice would be appreciated. Hi, John. This is an excellent and complex question because it's a complex disease. For those of you who do not know what EDS is, it's a group of 13 inheritable or genetic connective tissue disorders where the connective tissue gets broken down and these people suffer from abnormally weak and loosened ligaments called ligamentous laxity. Now, these joints become overly flexible and dis dislocate very easily. Their skin can become paper thin and they bruise very easily because blood vessels can dilate abnormally and rupture. On top of all this, they can experience serious GI disorders because they can't proper, properly digest or metabol metabolize food, which leads to mineral deficiencies, and they can develop leaky gut and inflammatory bowel disease. So John's question is, what can he do to help his condition? And I'm assuming, John, you're also going to want to know how to slow down the, the progression. So the first thing we need to address is the health of the gut. It's imperative to keep your gut healthy and to aid in the, di the digestion process. If you don't do this, you will be prone to systemic inflammation, which will speed up the progression of this condition. First and foremost, you need to make sure you're always taking a good quality digestive enzyme and HCL, also known as betaine HCL. And you should take these with every meal. Now, this will help with your digestion and it will also improve nutrient absorption. Dr. M and I use pure encapsulation digestive enzymes Ultra with betaine. You can also use Premier Research Labs HCL or transformation enzymes. Also, Garden of Life has an excellent digestive enzyme formula. Next, make sure you're following an anti-inflammatory diet. This is going to be a better approach than using a ketogenic diet because of the slow digestion you will experience. Make sure you're getting high quality proteins and eggs are one of the highest quality proteins you can take in. We'll be releasing two videos on eggs, so keep your eyes open for them. Also, it's important to supplement with bone broth as this will help fortify your collagen, especially since collagen breaks down quickly with this condition. It's extremely important to stay away from processed foods and beverages. Another thing that you should do to improve your gut health is to apply a castor oil pack to your abdomen twice per week. Commonly, these packs are used to help with bowel movements, but there's research that shows it's very effective with reducing GI inflammation, it can help with slow GI transit time and healing stomach and intestinal problems. Now, doing these things will help improve your absorption of vitamins and minerals. Also, there's been promising treatments with prolotherapy injections to help stabilize and slow down the degradation of the, the ligament laxity. Now, prolotherapy is a series of injections that contain dextrose, phenols, glycerin, and then, then they're mixed with lidocaine. Now, I'm no expert in this arena. However, the information I've seen on it has been very promising. I'll include a link to, on the study on prolotherapy's uh, effect in the effectiveness below. Now, if you follow these few things, you will undoubtedly notice an improvement. Thanks so much for your question. Okay, health explorers, please keep your questions coming.